<laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Just sitting on the couch with some dogs here. We're going to do a little unboxing and a channel update for you today. Oh, hi. Oh, Rubes. Okay. If you're wondering who Frodo is, this is Funk's mother's dog, and we occasionally uh, take him on walks and whatnot, so you'll see him from time to time. Ruger here wants toys. Oh, you want a two for once? So as far as updates go, let's see. As you can see, spring is in full swing now. Um, by now I've got a couple of camps underneath the way, and currently in the order of time, when this video is released, I should have gotten back from my week-long wilderness trip. Oh, sorry, I'm sitting here, tail Monty. Uh, two days ago, but I'm recording this a week, like a week before I go on that trip because I like to have videos released while I'm going back, and I don't want to come back from my trip, unpack myself, and instantly have to edit. I like to give myself at least a day or two, so that's why this is out. And that's also going to be the reason why, if you'll notice. I haven't responded to many comments lately. It's because I'm out in the woods when these videos are being released. So I'll get to them. It's going to take me this week here. Um, I've got. A, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot to edit. Hopefully, I got back from my trip and everything's okay. Because right now, when I'm recording this, I haven't done it yet. So hopefully, it's all good. But uh, yeah, I'll be responding to all the comments this week on this video and the last video. And you'll also be noticing some midweek videos here and there. Those are going to be just bonus videos. Um, I do a lot of fishing in the springtime here, mostly May and June, and uh, I do a lot of recording. Um, I'm not gonna release every fishing trip I go on. Um, I'll do most of the fun ones or if there's lots of nature, but if it's just something or like, I had one where I just went out paddling on Lake Superior and I didn't catch anything and it was just, you know, it was me. So I just decided, you know, what the heck, maybe I'll, release it in a later video or some clips or something like that but if I do have good luck fishing you know I'll release a Wednesday video and I'll try to keep those on just Wednesday as far as fish, the fishing videos go those will be just be Wednesday videos if I do struggle to have a busy week and maybe have you know something comes up I'll do like a catch and cook on a Sunday but mostly those are gonna be reserved for overnighters hike and cooks and update videos and stuff but we'll see but yeah you the, the Wednesday videos, don't expect them every Wednesday. I will, they'll just come out when they come out. Let them just be surprised, little bonus extras. Um, other news, uh, the website, it's, it's about 80% of the way done. So the store is running, and Funk has been manning that. We've been making some stickers and patches sales. So you can go to MatthewPosa.com. Um, I do updates. As far as like if you're wondering why a video is not coming out on Sunday or you want to see I kind of got on the front page I do little updates of what's going on this week or something like that and I've been trying to keep up with making uh, constant updates regular updates and then you got the store on there for stickers and patches and I also like soon I will be adding I got some velcro patches now the problem with the velcro patches is they didn't come with adhesive on the back of the velcro piece which I thought they would and uh you know they they weren't cheap so i that's just the way they are now that i thought they were going to come with adhesive to just stick the velcro and then just you know like that but i guess you got to sew on the velcro or whatnot but yeah that's how they are and i'd eventually like to get some black and white patches the black and white logo as a patch as well but that's going to take some time. It's not cheap to order a big batch of those patches. So those will eventually be on there. And the website, as far as the gear page goes, that's not complete either. Right now, it's just got a link to my Amazon store with my affiliate links. Eventually, I'd like to put links to all the gear I use, everything. Even if I can't, even if it's just like a link to some page. If I, if I like it and I use it, I'm going to try to put it on that page. That's going to take another month here or so um, just because I've been busy and this spring is such a busy time for me spring and fall are just like i have had everything planned out for may and <laughs> just my trips and get out fishing and um funk likes to come out and do a trip now i'm probably going to be doing a trip with funk here and not recording and i know you guys are saying like oh i'd love to see funk on a trip blah 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 you know i know that but before i got into the whole youtube thing uh, me and Funk used to go camping all the time with not, not, no cameras at all, really. We'd just go out camping and I'd just record little clips. 
And with YouTube, you know, sometimes always recording, it just, it sometimes, it, it, you know, it can take away the experience for other people. Like you'll notice JC guy, he doesn't really care for the camera. That's why you always see him, whenever uh, you see him quiet and you think he's like, just being a really quiet or shy guy, he just doesn't like the camera being on. And neither does Funk. She doesn't like being recorded and want to be on YouTube. So I, I respect that. And we're just gonna, we're gonna do some trips here in the, the early fall or the early spring where I'm just not gonna record. We're just gonna go out and have a relaxing time with the dogs and you know, I know you'd like love to see little clips from that, but it is what it is, you know? Gotta respect other people, and I'd love to go on some trips with Funk, and that's just how it's gonna be. Um, I will be bringing Ruger on some trips here. Definitely some overnighters. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some canoe camping with him. Now, it's gonna be really tough, because he'll have to go in between my legs, and uh, Monty will be in the back, and my bag will be in the front, and I, you know, so it'll be a little congested. And I probably won't be able to fish with Ruger in the boat until I set up camp and he'll just have to go in the front of the boat with the food bag or Monty, you know, they'll be in the front and the back. So we're going to try to get Ruger out a few more times this summer than last time because he's cured of his blasto and he's all good to go. You guys are back. They're back. They're back. They don't want to sit on the couch really that much right now. They're pretty tired. They got to go on a nice walk today. So they're all pretty pooped out. Right, Rhodes? You're pooped out, huh? You pooped out? Oh, oh. All right, Rogues. Rogues is just like, it's either toy or nothing. We're either gonna play or I'm gonna go lay over somewhere else. All right, drop it, Rogues. Drop it. Okay, all right. So let's see, is there anything else I wanna talk about? Um, 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 lots of fishing. The bugs should be nasty and hatched. So yeah, by the time this video is released, um, the bugs are going to be very nasty and that means the fishing is going to be excellent so I'm gonna be doing some probably gonna be doing some good catch and cook camps here and some uh, whoa he's gonna lose a tooth doing that stuff and then I'll do some good fishing here I want to do a lot of fish in this spring try out some trout lakes you guys will notice whenever I catch in trout I get really excited and that's because I'm not I've never been a trout fisherman that's something that's relatively new to me in the past few years, past five years. Um, I've always been a pike and bass fisherman all the way, and so I get super excited when I start catching brookies and rainbows and little trout. And that's something I'm going to be trying to do here more of. You're going to see me try to go down rivers and fish, which I've never done, and that's going to be new stuff. I can always go slay the pike and bass. I know my, I got my little spots for that, but I'm trying to find new um, trout lakes and some walleye lakes, and I'd like to find a nice perch lake. Those are hard to come by. Perch lakes. Get some nice catches of perch. But anywho, let's see what else we got. What else is on the agenda? I wanted to talk about... Alright, Monty. Monty's sick of it. Who wants it? Oh! Oh! Chill out. Everybody calm down. Everybody, everybody, it's okay. It's okay. Rogues, 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 Hey. It's okay, Froze. You're going to guard me, right? You're going to guard me. Yeah. They don't want anything to do with me. You're, you're, all, you're all about me. All right, buddy. Okay, let's see here. I don't think I've really got anything else to talk about. So... Let's do a little unboxing here. Um, now, I know it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video and uh, I've just been busy. And I've got a lot of packages from you guys. And uh, I've got some of them I feel like a month or two ago and I haven't opened them yet. I've been saving them for this moment in this video. And if you're wondering what the heck I sent him something and he hasn't mentioned it yet, that's because I've been waiting for the right time to do a video because I like to make videos of when you guys send me stuff. Um, I've got a lot to open right now. There's quite a few packages there. And um, as far as letters go, I've been opening letters as I get them and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for all the letters, guys. So without further ado, let's open some boxes. What do you say, Froats? What do you say, Rooks? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> so again, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to open these. But hey, better late than never, as I always say. So, first things first, we've got... This one looks like from Amazon. Oh yeah, little Amazon symbol. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh, I almost cut open the packaging. What do we got here? Himmel dog treats, 100% natural, authentic. Huh. We got two of them. Roads, that means you get nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. Here we go. Hi, Monty and Ruger. We enjoy watching your adventures with your human, Matt. Enjoy your treats, and if Matt wants a taste, please share. Mike and Patricia. Well, thank you very much, guys. Let's see. All natural Himmel dog treat yak chews. What are these? Ingredients yak milk, cow milk, salt, and lime juice. Interesting. All right, well, let's see if they like them. What do you guys see? You guys want a treat? How? Oh, I can't. Nope, these are, these are like bone. <laughs> Here you go, Rugs. You guys want it? Want it, Rugs? What's the treat? Go ahead, Frodes. There you go. Frodo, Frodo took it. You guys missed out. I gave you the option. This is this is awkward. <laughs> Are you wanting roofs? You want it, Monty? Go ahead. Get the treat. Get it. <laughs> They're like, I'm expecting meat. What the heck? Go ahead, Monty. Alright, well now I feel guilty, Rooks. <laughs> Hold on, Frodes, Frodes. Let's just see if Ruger. <laughs> I don't know what to do here, guys. Frodo, go ahead, Rooks. See, now, now I have to be a jerk no matter what I do. Okay, he really wants it. Ruger seemed the least interested. I'm gonna give Ruger a piece of meat right now. Oh, I feel so bad, Funk. What do we do? What? There's only two dog chews. Take them all away. Nobody gets it. Okay. Funk has given the best advice. In, instead of feeling really terrible, we're going to give these to these later when Frodo goes home. Because I'm not going to sit here and deal with the guilt. Come here, give it to me. So they like to the choose. Um, I'm going to take them away for now because I cannot deal with one of them looking at me like, Why? Why do they get treats and I don't? Huh? What did I do? So they like them. We'll give them to you later. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> All right, we've got two packages here from May to Matthew T. Nugget Poza. Where is this from, Utah? All right, let's see what we got here. Now they're really interested in the packages. Watch out for the knife. <laughs> Look at them, <laughs> little scavengers. They're like, oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> Why don't we do this all the time, Dad? Okay, we've got a letter in here. Matthew, I forgot to put this keychain in your box. I sent. So, here it is. Take care, May. Okay. Hey! Check it out. That's a, like a lure. That's definitely a fishing lure. <laughs> it's a keychain, fishing lure keychain. Sweet! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm assuming this one should have been opened up first. Looks like we've got a letter in here. Oh, a couple letters. Okay, let's, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read through these here. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole letter here, um, but I'm just going to read little parts of it. I read it to myself, but I'm just going to read little, little parts of it. Hey, right, Monty, what do you think? You're expecting more treats? Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> Matt. Wanted to thank you for sharing your awesome bushcraft slash outdoor adventures. Your channel has reunited my wife's passion for the outdoors and bushcrafting. She has made me start to acquire her gear so we can get out and enjoy the outdoors. Um, well, that's definitely one of the main purposes of my channel is to inspire others to get out outdoors too. So I'm happy I could do that for you guys. Um, let's see. They said their favorite scene. 
the favorite scene is when uh, Monty asked if I wanted a beer. Monty, do you want a treat? Do you want to go for to the dog park? Do you want a treat? You want to go for dog park? Dog park? Treat? <laughs> Good boy. Hey Dad, do you want a beer? Do you want a beer? Do you want a beer? And I'm not gonna read the rest of it, but uh, I just want to say best of luck to you guys, and I will do my best with what you asked. Okay, so thank you very much for the letter, guys. Uh oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, so we've got 100% pork bones. Okay, so um, we're gonna let these guys taste these. We're gonna give them all a little taste, and we're gonna. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to wait till later because, again, there's only two in here, Frodo. So you're 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 third wheeling today. So uh, yeah, we'll have to wait till this guy goes home before they can dive into these fully, but we'll give you guys all a taste here. I'm not gonna taste this one. Ooh! But you guys will love, love this. Oh boy. Alright, everyone gets a taste. Yeah, I know you want to take it, Frodo. Just chew on it for a second. Everyone's just getting a taste. Yeah, they like this one. <laughs> Roos is like, come on. You want it, Roos? Here, Monty, your turn. Here, Monty. Monty's like, hey, give it to me. Go ahead, Monty. Monty, come here. Monty. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Over here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come here. Go ahead, Monty. Come on. Get it, Monty. Yeah, they, they like those. <laughs> All right, guys. These are going to have to go up to the side for now. Again, it's not that I don't want to give it to them, it's just that I'm not dealing with the guilt right now. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No way, no how. They said they included some fishing tackle. So I'm just going to dump this out here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got some twister tails, some big lunker grubs. I am no stranger to those. I usually use a little smaller than that, but. Definitely will be using those. We've got a shad wrap, it looks like. Minnow floating. Okay. There we go. Bass flesh. I'll give it a try. We've got some bright green three inch grubs. Three inches is usually the size I use. And I usually stick to white, but I've been I've been thinking about experimenting a little bit more. So we'll throw we'll throw this around sometimes. Give her a shot. I like chartreuse. I think was that green or chartreuse? It looks more green, but I think it says chartreuse. Lime chartreuse. Yeah, I definitely like the bright chartreuse colors. I mean, well, maybe this is the maybe this is the season we'll change our colors. Well, what do we got here? A little Jake. Huh. That is interesting. That looks super interesting. It looks like a. Huh. I have never seen that before. I've never seen a lure that looks like that. It almost just looks like fingernail clippers with a treble hook attached. He said in a letter, um, this is what they use to slay the trout and pike uh, where they're from. So, gotta work. Oh, and then we've got a giant USA tie clasp <laughs> for a hat. <laughs> What else we got here? Little little shads. We've got the classic white jig heads. This is what I'm always used to using. I usually use the orange eye, but uh, yeah, those will go in my box. Another size to the little Jake. Ooh, this looks like a deep diver. Suspender. We've got another, another flashy shad, 3D shad. And then 
Some tube jigs. More jigs. Awesome. Never afraid of fishing tackle. I've got a plethora of it, so I got lots of things to try this year. I'm trying more stuff than that. Usually I just stick to three lures, so we'll be experimenting more as time goes on, but I usually stick to what I know, but we'll get we'll get some things to try. Thank you very much, guys. They think every box is gonna be a treat now. <laughs> so they're just all in my face. Alright, I've got another another Amazon one here. Watch out, Froze. I don't want to cut you in the face. No, no cut doggy snows. Okay, what do we got here? Hi, Matthew. Enjoy your gift from Diane. Well, thank you, Diane. Let's see what we got here. Firm Up Pumpkin Super Supplement. 100% grown, harvested, made, packaged in the USA. BPA free. Supports stool consistency in dogs with cat or cats. Ooh! Hey! Pumpkin Apple Pectin. Digging your dog is a grassroots company owned. Interesting. This is actually pretty sweet. Um, if this is in fact just pretty much dried pumpkin and this is like 100% pumpkin organic. I'll have to look into it before I give it to them. But if this is just like pumpkin, I could bring this out on wilderness trips because normally I bring Monty canned pumpkin and uh, that's not gonna work on a long wilderness trip. So I could, this would definitely be sweet. This will definitely make Monty want his food more. Yeah, he loves that pumpkin. So awesome, thank you. And then we've got a pet first aid kit. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. What's the differences between you and me? I, I bring a big first aid kit. Okay, so it's just pretty much normal stuff. What is this here? Topical irrigation. Okay, this is saline. Okay, so it's, it's essentially just a normal first aid kit. Yeah, I could definitely throw this stuff into my kit. I bring a hefty first aid kit more stuff than I need. Um, you guys don't know this now, I haven't ever said this before, but I did take a wilderness first responder course in, it's it's since expired, but um, ever since I took that course, I kind of bring more than I need to uh, when I go in my first aid kit. I bring lots of stuff. And it's usually a jam packed, it's a big old thing. Even for an overnight, I bring the same one for a, a month long trip or a day. It's the same first aid kit, more than I need. Awesome, thank you again, Diane. Next we've got another Amazon one. I always like to look at the letters first. If this, Sometimes Amazon doesn't put in like a who it's from letter. That's the only thing I really don't like about getting things from Amazon. It's like this one, I have no idea who it's from. But whoever it is, thank you. So what we've got here is some more treats. Elkhorn Premium Chews. What do you guys think? <laughs> We're gonna add it to the pile of stuff you guys get to chew on, here you go. There you go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to him for two seconds because I'm, the, you guys are getting so many treats this time around. You little stinkers. Okay, all right, Rubes. All right, Frodo, you get a, you get a taste. And now here's the part where I'm a jerk. Give them back, guys. Give them back, all right, good boys, good boys. Frodo, give it to me. I'm sorry, guys. You guys will get all this stuff eventually. And you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna send Frodo home with uh, a treat, one of those treats. Since we've got so many this time, he deserves one. He's a good boy too. So he's, he's getting something. I'm not gonna say which one he's getting, but he's gonna get sent something with him. He's going home with a treat. He's earned it. And then we've also got some paracord, it looks like. Tough grid, made in the USA, type four paracord, military specifications. Interesting, 750 pound, 50 feet. Awesome. Never 
Uh, never a bad thing to get more paracord. I go through so much paracord all the time using it. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Whoever sent this package, it doesn't say, so thank you. Okay, next we've got one from Cheryl. And it says, do not use blades to open. So, we gotta open it the old fashioned way. What do we got here, boys? We've got a letter. There we go. My family loves your videos. Hope these pouches help keep you organized. The Voss family. Awesome. What do we got here? Yeah. All right, so we've got, I think I think you messaged me on Instagram telling me you are gonna send me these. Awesome. I could definitely, I definitely like little pouches like this. I have, what I use right now is, uh, I don't know if these are waterproof. They look like they're at least water resistant or at least, you know, they look like nice pouches. Okay, there we go. This is just a. This one's just mesh. There's something else in here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, all sorts of sizes. Sweet. Yeah. So what I was saying is, I use right now clear, waterproof uh, vinyl plastic ones, and they're starting to break in winter time, so they're just not good for winter time. The reason I like those is they're 100% waterproof. But in winter time, they're not good because they crack. And so this will be awesome to use these in winter time. And we've got a couple different sizes here. This is a big one. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, okay. So it looks like these are Fox Light gear. They sent me some stickers. This is their sticker. So these are these are made by them. Okay, yeah, you, I do remember you saying this. So, yeah, check them out. Cheryl Voss, foxlightgear.etsy.com. Sweet. They look like some quality packs, and I will definitely give them a shot. And we've got some. What do we got here? A little microfiber cloths. Never a bad thing. Well, thank you very much, Cheryl. I will definitely give these a try. Now this. I can see what's in here. Something to challenge the great, the ultimate spice. We've got some Chicago steak seasoning. Penzi spices. Let's, let's, smells a little uh, mesquite. Not bad. Not bad. He's definitely got some smoky flavor oh yeah robust smoky blend awesome thank you um i've got a couple other steak spices that have been sent to me and uh, i've been meaning to try them i just always when i pack for trips i'm always in a rush i don't know how i do this myself it's because i'm a procrastinator is what it is but i always i'm just like going i'm like all right montreal and i just grab the montreal and i go so i always like i've meant to take out and try these other spices and like sauce packets and stuff that I've been sent. And I just always, <laughs> I'm always reaching for the dang Montreal. I can't help it, but thank you. I will definitely give this a try at some point in time. And it tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's better than Montreal because I'm not gonna, I don't want Montreal to be mad at me, but it tastes pretty darn good. Okay, so thank you once again, Cheryl. Um, We've got a package from Shiloh. Mmm, I recognize this handwriting. Mr. Mark, I think. This is the guy that likes to, likes to poke fun at me here. <laughs> don't think I don't remember. Oh, what do we got here? This thing's taped up, it's secured. Yeah, you little scavengers are expecting, what was like double package here? Okay. Yeah, it says for Monty and Ruger, Frog B X out uh, Matthew and Jake. So this is for Jake. Huh. Interesting. 
Well, Jake's quite a far ways away now, so he's definitely not going to be accompanying me for this one. What do we got here? Trying to be careful. Man, you put the <laughs> packaging on this one. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay, what do we got here? So we've got some dog park <laughs> little uh what are these neck collars or bandanas <laughs> there we go what else do we got here let's see one Monty one Ruger one Jake treats for me from Shiloh and Mark Pepper is awesome grilled with steak sauce or BBQ sauce. I have one every week. I don't think I'm going to be trying one, but we've got some pumpkin and cinnamon super biscuits. Now, there is three of them here, and guess what? It's not going to be for me and Jake this time. It's going to be for Frodo. <laughs> Frodo, you guys are fine. You're going to get a treat now that you can eat, okay? All right, here we go. Stay there. Stay there. Who's a good boy? Who wants a treat? Speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> good boy, Monty. Ruger, speak. <laughs> Ruger. Frodo. Frodo, come back. Frodo, come up. Oh, Frodo. Frodo, come here. Frodo, want a treat? Come on, Frodo. Okay, that's a good boy. Good boy, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good boys, make a mess everywhere. Don't worry, I'll back. Oh, yeah. Drool. Oh, there you go, Monty. There you go. That's the spirit. Let's just make a big mess. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I shall be vacuuming this day. Save the rest of these treats for later, Monty. Don't worry, you keep drooling on that box, Monty. Here, let's just. Oh, Monty, you're getting drool everywhere. No, no, Monty. Oh my God, Monty, you're such a slobber monster. Oh man. Look at all the drool Monty got on that box. That's an Amazon box, so Monty. What are we going to do with you? Okay, so thank you very much for those. <laughs> thank you, Mark, and the, the wonderful bandanas. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? From JB, from, where is this here? California? Okay. Watch it there, Monty. What do we got here? Is there a letter? No letter. So we have got, oh, an inflatable solar light. Hey, that's interesting. I've seen, I think Girl in the Woods used something like this before. Maybe it's these exact ones. I don't know. I've, I saw it on some kind of video. Charges in seven hours in direct sunlight, lasts up to 12 hours. Waterproof IP67 rating. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's sweet. I'm definitely interested to try this out. I'm gonna stick this out. It's really bright and sunny right now. It takes seven hours to charge so I'm not gonna get to test it out in this video, but uh, yeah.
if this I'll, I'm gonna try I'm gonna charge it right now and I'm gonna see if it's bright this will be pretty cool if it's if it's really bright so yeah thank you very much I'm gonna go stick this outside right now if it happens to be charged up enough before I, I think I'm probably gonna edit this video right after I make it so if I if I don't happen to edit before or after I make it I will insert a clip right here of the brightness of that light in the dark and if I am editing it right after this, then there will be no light right here. <laughs> but yeah, thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you, JB. Okie dokes, let's open up the slobber box. Monty has made his mark on this one. We got one from Amazon here. Ooh, it's all wet. What is this? Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Oh, is there a letter? We got a bucket of mountain house meals. That's pretty sweet. We've got two beef stroganoff with noodles, two beef stew, two chicken teriyaki, two lasagna, two noodles with chicken, two granola, and milk and blueberries. Awesome. I do like the mountain house better than the other kind, but uh, what do we got here? Yeah, like I was saying, I normally dehydrate my own meals, but when me and Fo sometimes in a rush, I do grab those. Like, I'm, you'll see on last week's video, <laughs> I took out a vegetarian meal, but I didn't end up using it. Because I, I do like to eat my own meals that I make, but I do use these as backups, and I will be eating these and bringing them out. I just usually stick to, if it's I'm going to travel somewhere, or it's not a trip that I'm planning on early on, but I, I do end up using these from time to time. So thank you very much. And it doesn't say who it's from. Let me see it. Maybe it's doesn't say. But whoever it's from, thank you very much. And we've got another Amazon one. Wait, this one's got letters. I know it's early. Hi, Matthew. I know it's early, but this would be cute to read for this year's Christmas episode. Enjoy your gift. Give Monty a big hug for me from Mike. Well, I can definitely do one of those things right now. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. You want this? Monty, you want this? Come here. Come here, Monty. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. You want this? Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Monty, come. Monty, come. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here, Monty. Oh, do you want me to give you a big hug? Oh, Monty. There, there's the big hug. You just love this, don't you? No. Okay, be free. Be free. Be free. Or you can stay. Now he thinks he's, he's actually getting something because I lied to him. But what we've got here is a... <laughs> Monty and friends save Christmas. <laughs> That's great. When Santa visits Monty's house, things don't quite go to plan. Cookie has managed to scare away the reindeers. <laughs> Let me just peek at this quick here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Well, it's not Christmas time, so I'm not going to read this right now, but... We'll see what I can do <laughs> when Christmas comes around and, well, I don't really, winter just got over with so I don't really want to think about Christmas right now, but thank you very much. Monty, go ahead, get up, go ahead. You struggling? You okay? Okay, he's, he's like, there better be snacks. Give me some snacks, Dad. Okay, Monty, relax there, Skippy. Okay, we have got a package from Australia. That is quite a far away a ways. I think I remember talking to you or telling me to send you sent this and I have not opened it till now and I'm sorry. But I'm opening it right now. It's been a minute. Oops. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is gonna be in here, huh? Okay, we've got a letter. Let's see here. 
Dear Matt and Monty, hope you like the enclosed presents. Good eating, Monty and Ruger. Also a special stick for your dad to throw for you. And some Bart finger protection devices. Best wishes from Gary, Andrew, and Dandia. Dandia? The Gap Brisbane in Australia. Okay. Thank you for the letter. Let's see what we got here. We've got a <laughs> Australia koozie. <laughs> That's great. Sweet. I love koozies. <laughs> and then we've got a boomerang. Hmm. I can tell you that Ruger will definitely be more interested in catching this than Monty. I've never had success with a boomerang, but I will give it a shot. Right, you guys want to try it? There's not enough room here. It definitely flies back. I need to get to a, we need to try this in a field. Oh, oh. I don't, I don't have the room here to whip it. You're supposed to throw it at an angle with the wind. Maybe if I throw it like a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to go to a nice grassy field and try this. So I got more room right now. I don't have very much room, but it definitely comes back. I've never thrown one and had it actually come back. Oh. It's gonna smoke Ruger in the face. Ruger, give Monty a try. All right, Ruger, leave it, leave it, leave it. Monty, you ready? Leave it, Rubes. Monty, you ready? Clueless. <laughs> Good boy, Rubes. See, Funk has taught uh, Ruger to give Monty a turn. She's training to become a dog trainer, so that's one of the things she taught Rubes. All right, Rubes, leave it. It's Monty's turn. Leave it. Leave it. Hey, Rubes. <laughs> Good boy, Rubes. Monty doesn't. Monty's like, nah. It's a weird looking stick. Good boy, Rubes. All right, now you, now you can do it, okay? Now it's your turn. Yeah, Monty just likes chasing Rubes, anyways. We'll have to try this in a field sometime. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, I feel like though, if I throw it for the dogs, they're gonna chew that up very fast. It's going to get destroyed. Oh yeah, we've got an oven mitt. <laughs> you don't like me using my flesh togs and burning my, building my calluses? <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. A little boonie hat. It's got a little... <laughs> I, think, I think those are for keeping bugs out of your face. The, uh, the waving. It's going to just hit me in my eyes. <laughs> it's making me blink just knowing that they're flying around my eyes. <laughs> oh, we've got a little uh, Australia pouch. What do we got here? Yeah, it's just a little pouch. Is this a kangaroo? Monty, there's no... So far, there's, there's nothing for you here. There might be. Oh, wait. Never mind. I just found the Monty and Ruger payday. And then we've got, ooh, we've got some backpack sized tongs. <laughs> you don't like seeing me burn my fingers? Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh oh. Okie dokie. Here's payday for you guys. Payday for the boys. The Monty and River package. What do we got here? All natural dog treats, Roo Cubes. 
Pet food only. Feed as a treat or reward, not a complete meal. High in protein. And what else do we got here? We've got more Roo Chop. Oh my gosh, look at these dogs right now. <laughs> oh, pet food only. Okay. Well, you know what? These dogs are going to get the poops. They're definitely going to get the poops from this. They've been getting all sorts of snacks today. Might as well just go for gold. Right? Right, boys? Yeah, you guys want some. Let's see if we can get them little teeny pieces. That just does not smell good to me. That smells like fish food. All right. Okay, boys. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here. Oh, I've never seen Monty jump so far in his whole life. Come here, Rooks. Come here, up, 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 Rooks. Come here. Oh, this Rooks. Come here. Up, up. Come here, Rooks. Up, up. Rooks, right here. Up, up. Come here, Rooks. Up, up. Okay. Everybody gets a piece. Okay, good boys. Get away from me. All right. Oh, no, Monty, you're slobbering. Oh, my gosh, he's drooling all over me. Such a slobber monster. Okay, the rest of this we're saving for later. <laughs> you guys have got a mountain. Jeez. Well, the dog's made out on this one. Okay. Thank you very much for all the gifts, guys. Alright. Ooh, this one's heavy. We got an Amazon one here. Hey, 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 back up, back up. here oh my gosh oh, let's see here we go hey Matthew Funk Monty and Ruger hope you can find use for these items your channel is delightful keep the great work our list one two three Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got a West Paw Dog Chew. Oh yeah, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a favorite of Mr. Rooks here. Ruger is the toy monster. Ah, let's just got this. He's gonna definitely, he's definitely gonna be interested in this. Rooks, you want a new toy, Monty? Monty's like, I just want more treats. Can you open more treats, please? Rooks like, I'll take it. Here you go, Rooks. Want it? Go ahead, Rooks. Get it, Rooks. Get it, Rooks. Get it, Rooks. Rooks will definitely like that. Monty is straight up just wants treats right now. That's all he cares about. Yeah? Yeah, see, Rooks? Rooks will definitely love that. We've got... Small Bushcraft Grill. Oh, are you trying to, uh... Trying to say the great grades is, uh... It's range should come to an end. Ooh, hey, that's not bad. Sweet, nice. So this is like the great great, but without foot pegs. Sweet. Oh, it's got something else in here too. Oh, it's got a little, ooh. That's pretty nifty. Comes with a little uh, carrying bag. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Thank you. I'm gonna give that a shot there. Oh yeah, payday right here. <laughs> Someone was paying attention when I talked about my favorite candy out in the woods. <laughs> that is a lot of Starburst. <laughs> well, I think I want to be set for the season now. Now I prefer, I prefer tropical. But I just love Starburst in general, so awesome. That's a lot of Starburst. <laughs> oh man. What do we got here? A camera protector rain cover. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, you, you definitely, I definitely, uh, 
Look at this one's just got his chin laying on my arm. He's panting uncontrollably, and Monty uh, Ruger's down there enjoying the chew like a good dog. You guys are just crazy. Okay, let's see here. Uh, the reason I don't normally use these, let's see. Oh, Rugs. Is uh, because if the camera's got a screen, which I just glimpsed at and noticed it wasn't recording anymore, but uh, it's got a screen that uh, I need to see to re when I'm recording. But, hey, that might work. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for the stuff. Okay, we have got three more packages. This is another Amazon one. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is from Arliss123 as well. So we've got some camp soap. Awesome. Biodegradable camp soap. Monty, Monty smells something and what he smells is a one pound bag of beef jerky. <laughs> oh no, I am definitely going to enjoy this. <laughs> and Funk will as well. We've got, ooh, we've got bacon jerky, thick cut. <laughs> oh man, awesome. I do love some beef jerky. I am probably gonna be bringing this on my upcoming week-long trip that'll be getting done, that'll be getting done when this video comes out, but this is probably gonna come with me. Sweet. I always bring some beef jerky. Monty loves it. Oh, we've got another chew. Is this a... This is a puzzle. Ooh. Interesting. Funk's sitting over here, by the way. She likes watching the unboxings. She just is sitting right off camera, just checking it out. I can tell you right now, Monty's still not going to be interested in anything but food. Ruse, you want another toy? Yeah. This one, it looks like... You can put treats in here, and uh, he has to figure out how to get them out. Rooks, you ready? He wants the treats. And last but not least, we have got the dog treats. We've got a whole baggie of dog treats. Oh boy. Man, you dogs are making out today. So these are fruitables. Vet science. Ingredients, pumpkin, ground oats, barley, potatoes, sunflower oil, molasses, cinnamon, bananas, natural banana flavor, natural vanilla. Sounds pretty dang healthy for the dogs. So that one is pumpkin banana, pumpkin apple. We've got pumpkin and blueberry, pumpkin and cranberry. Oh man. <laughs> well, thank you very much. They're definitely gonna this is something I can give all of you guys right now. All right, come here, who wants a treat? The little turd nuggets. <laughs> it's just cracking me up. Oh, they're all, come here, Monty, you want a treat? Come here, Rooks, you want a treat? Come on, up, 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 come here, up, 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 Rooks, up, up, come here, come here. Okay. Good boys. Oh man. Alright. Oh keep froze. Oh jeez. Man, you guys are making out today. <laughs> this is so many treats for the dogs. Let's put some in this. Let's load up this uh they at least like the pumpkin and banana ones. Let's see if we can load this up in here. This is probably I got Monty, Monty's getting drool all over me. Get out of here. You little stinkers. Frodo. I can tell you right now, Monty is not even going to want to mess around with this. He might be interested in the smell, but it's going to be Frodo and Ruger that are going to get these out of here. Alright, who wants it? Who wants it? 
Who's gonna take it? Go ahead. Get it. Get it. Get it, Monty. Get it, Froats. Get it, Roops. Come on. Alright, this will get him away. Here you go. Who wants the treats? Go ahead. Go ahead. Get him. Alright. Oh. Well, thank you very much, Arliss123. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of dog treats here today. Okay, we have got Nantucket Spider. Hmm, interesting. Monty, I know. You want more? Rivers figuring out? Okay, let's see. Don't let them see. Oh, everyone saw. Alright, one more each. Go ahead, Roots. Roots. Oh, did you get it? Okay, alright. They are so getting the poops. There's, I have no choice. It's, it's happening. Gotta have some doggy diarrhea. What is this? Natural deep free tick repellent. Interesting. Made with a unique blend of essential oils. Hmm. Official park ranger spray. Interesting. Oh, we got a letter. Let's, let's read the letter first. Oh, there's some hay in here or something? Let's see here. I'm not going to read the whole letter, but... Okay, so it says, Hi, Matthew. You just finished watching Seven Night Adventure with my dog, Part 1. What a great adventure trick video. He sent me... These are Nantucket natural bug repellents made with essential oils. And there's some for the dog that don't include citrusy oils. Hmm. Well, I will definitely give these a try. I don't like, now you guys notice that I don't usually use any sort of bug repellent. I usually just deal with the bugs. But um, I do occasionally use DEET if they're getting to me like crazy. The whole reason I don't like DEET is because it's just like the feeling you get on your skin when you just douse yourself on your skin and then you go crawl in your sleeping bag. I only really use it if I'm able to wash off. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely give these a try. I don't mind having essential oils on my skin. That, that does not bother me. So, we'll see if they work. I'll give them a try. Um, and if they work, awesome. But yeah, this it's a Nantucket Spider. I can't say much about them until I try them. We've got, what do we got here? We've got a deep free bug repellent for dogs. Summer. Are these all different? This one's a tick repellent. And this one is, we'll, we'll see if they work for all bugs. We got one here, this is a backpacker, a little one. What's this one? This one's for the dogs. And got the Nantucket Spider Spray. So this is from Jeffrey Bush, the president of the company. Awesome, well thank you very much. I'll give them a shot. That'd be sweet if they work. I'll try, I've tried the, uh, I've tried a couple different things. I, I definitely, citronella uh, bracelets, those never did anything for me. But, um, and I've also tried the, um, Thermocell Mr. Smoker thingy, the little attachment, that did not work for the mosquitoes in my area. They just did not care one bit. Um, so we'll see how this works. I feel like mosquitoes, mosquitoes, depending on the region, sometimes just things will work there and they won't work other places. It's just all different. I think we've got some of the most vicious ones around here <laughs> where I go. They just don't care. Okay, Froge, we've got one more. One more package. This one is also from Australia, from Alistair. Woodland Camp, Woodland Bros Camp. All right. Monty is just like, oh, just, there's much more stuff. My dear greedy little turd. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Monty, your prayers have been answered. <laughs> Oh man, you guys have gotten so many things. These are kangaroo chews. Kangaroo, huh? Kangaroo based chews. Is this actually kangaroo? Yep, yeah. ingredients, kangaroo. Huh. I almost want to try some. I want to eat some kangaroo. 
Ooh, we've got some beef jerky. Ooh, I love beef jerky. Fear Carolina Reaper Chili. Oh no. Funk, this one's for you. <laughs> Super spicy. You know what? I'm scared. You know how I am with spice. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of spice. Well, actually, let's see if there's a letter in here first. Hold on. Oh my gosh. There's so much beef jerky. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see here. Oh man, there's a there's a lot in here. Oh man. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a letter. I think I you mentioned me about getting this. Okay, let's see if this is a letter first. Before before Rooks, here you go, Rooks. Rooks hasn't figured out how to get that out yet. Okay, so this is from Woodland Bros Camp. Sent me some stickers. There we go. Sweet. Sent me some stickers. So, they have sent me some kangaroo dog treats and a whole bunch of beef jerky here. We've got, it's, it's Skahuna's beef jerky. We got white pepper, honey soy, and I was halfway opened the uh, Fear Carolina Reaper. I think we're gonna give this one a try. I'm not crazy with spice. I got halfway open and I was like, yeah, and then uh, well, yeah, we'll see. We're gonna try that one. So we've got some garlic black pepper, smoky BBQ, mild chili. And then we've got some grain-free kangaroo and lamb dog food. I'll have to look into the dog food because I don't like switching their dish. We just switched Monty on actually to a we just switched Monty to a new food, and uh, he's actually loving it. And you just don't want to just switch their food right away. So if this is good healthy food, I'll, I'm gonna definitely just do a little research on it before anything. But if this is nice quality food, we'll definitely mix it in with their their meals. But it's all hypro premium, made with real chicken and duck. We got some kangaroo and lamb, and some chicken and duck. Dog food, or this one is ocean fish. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. It seems like it's high quality. And then we got more, a whole bunch of dog food. And and then he, they also sent me. Some cute little camp togs so I'll burn my fingers. <laughs> okay. All right, let's set this off to the side. Let's let's set this down here. First things first. Me and Funk are gonna eat some of this Fear Carolina Reaper chili beef jerky. You wanna try some, Funk? All right. I'm gonna eat a little piece. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not good with spice. I am not good with spice. Spice Funk is the spicy one. You're the spicy one, Funk. This is not what you guys want. How big of a piece do you want? Not that big. <laughs> no. All right. Here, you want this piece? Sure. Here you go. All right. Stingaroo? No, it's beef oh. jerky. Okay. Oh, it looks spicy. It does. It it seems spicy. You tell me. Because if you don't think it's bad, I'll be fine. So far, it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. It's not so bad. It's a little spicy. Ooh, it's good beef jerky. Mm -hmm. It's a little spicy. It's not terrible, but it is spicy. That's pretty good spice, actually. I hope it doesn't come on more. It's at a good level right now. That's pretty good stuff. 
Awesome. Thank you for that, guys. So, the last thing here is the dog's got to get another treat. Okay, boys. Smells, smells a little funky, but it's not for me. It's for these dogs. Okay, boys. Who wants a treat? Come on, up, up, up here, Rooks. Come on, come here, Rooks. You want a treat? Come on, Rooks. Come here, come here. Okay, everybody, speak, 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 Bunty, speak, speak, Bunty, speak. speak. Speak, Bunty. Speak. Good boy, Rooks. Speak, Froats. Speak. Come on. Speak. Come on. Come on, Zeke. Speak. Okay. All right. Everybody come here. All right. There you go. Okay. 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 That's enough. All right. Well, thank you very much for that. <laughs> These guys made out like bandits this time around. Oh, my gosh. They're going to have treats for months now and choose the last... We're going to send a little care package home with Froats because he deserves some. He's a good boy. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you very much for all the stuff. And sorry it took me so long to open these. Um, another thing I want to say really quickly is I will be doing the 100K subscriber giveaway in the next, within the next month, I promise, 100%, it'll be happening. Um, things tickling my face oh uh, it will be happening I've got the prizes around for that so that's gonna be coming and should be a good one um, anyway so yeah thank you once again and I will catch you guys in the next video have a good one come here Monty you guys want another one you guys want no it's enough that's enough you guys are gonna get poopy butts all right